I'm going to be making a painting of a deer in a forest clearing. And if you want to follow along, just get a canvas and let's get started. Okay, uh, I put all the highlights on the trees and it turned out really good. I'm just gonna wait for that to dry and then we're gonna start on the leaves. You can see over here I had started on them but then I forgot about the bark. So, there's that. Okay, so how I did the highlights on the tree was first I mixed raw umber with some black and did some outlines of just like some regular bark just lines in the tree just doing kind of random lines and then what i did i mixed flesh lemon yellow and raw umber together to get this lighter color right here and then what i did i went along this side of the tree because we're gonna have a light source coming from here i will pay that later and since the light source is coming from here, it's going to be on this side. And there's also some other little highlights in there just to give it a bit more texture and realism. So you do that and then you have all the bark on your tree and some lighting. So Okay, it's time to paint some leaves and to get our color for them, we are going to mix patholo green and grass green. That has a hole in the side because that's just what happens with metal tubes. And what you're gonna do is mix them together. Okay, mixed it. And then what you're gonna do is take a brush kinda like this, just a big brush, very soft on the edges, not very stiff. Has thin bristles, kinda like a makeup brush, but you're just gonna take your paint, get a little, the tiniest bit of water, and then kinda just dab it on here in circular motions where you would think the, the leaves would be. So that's gonna be that, and you're just gonna have to watch me do that, so. As I mentioned before, there will there was a light source, and so what you're going to do is take some yellow paint, get some water on it, and just make some strokes and make it look like there's some sunshine shining through the leaves. I am going to do some more, but just not at the moment. 
Some areas you want to make it brighter because it's shining through the, the gaps in the leaves. So make sure to keep that in mind when you paint that part. Hello Kitty, do not step on that. Okay, well anyways, that's just what you're gonna do and... Yeah. Okay, um, we're gonna take some crimson after we have painted the grass on here. And we're taking crimson because it's the complementary color of green. And so we're going to be painting a little field of poppies, but what I'm going to do is just put little dots on there. And then we're going to get started on the stack, which I'm really excited about. Here it is. You're gonna to want to just blend it out with a blend it out with a fluffy brush, and then go back and put some more pink. In, well, it's like a red pink in the middle of where it is. And now we're just gonna do an outline of the stag that we're doing. It's just gonna be sitting right here in the middle, and we can always go back and do whatever we want to fix it up. But right now we're just going to get an outline so that we have a rough idea of where it is. Okay, I have a shape somewhat like this, and that's just a stack, and what you're going to do next is take a slightly lighter brown color and outline everything, and we're just going to do all the shading first, and I'll do the fur a bit later, but first I want to get some highlights on it so that you can see more of the features on, on the face and on this big fur part that we're going to have here and a bunch of other spaces, so... We're gonna do that and then we'll move on to the fur, which is gonna be pretty hard, but I can do it. <laughs> Here's a better view of all the different shades of brown, some lighter areas on where the sun shine might be shining and more vis visible on it. And this part's gonna be really fluffy, and for the less the less furry parts, I'm going to just paint lighter brown strokes. So that's that. And this part's gonna be kind of like the tree bark of it. So okay, I have five different colors of brown to do all the fur, and this one's burnt sienna, burnt sienna with white, burnt umber with an equal amount of black burnt umber with a bit of black and then just burnt umber. So I'm gonna use that to do all the fur and yeah. To start on the eyes, make a diamond shape, but take away a little part in the middle so that it's just a little part that comes down. And then make a color similar to this. And then just apply it to a circle. I'm going to make these eyes bigger, but then I'm going to do that and then add the pupil and then I'll be done. Here's the finished painting. The trees are really good and the deer turned out good. The eyes look kind of weird, but I mean, it looks fine. And the background, and I really like it, so yeah.